new YouTube man, BZ in the building. In today's video, y'all, we have first look at NBA 2K25 My Player Builder, as well as the new badge that's come out, as well as 70 new takeovers, bro. It's a lot we got to talk about in this video. Make sure you get your popcorn, get your snacks, y'all. Let's get into this news. Without further ado, this is Boy BZ. Let's get to it. All 40 badges available in NBA 2K25, and we have the brand new takeover system with 72 takeovers and 14 takeovers. I just had a I just had a mind overload. Brain just started glitching times too. He just said 40 badges, 70 animations, six upgrades, you know what I'm saying, and attribute breakers. Bro, what the heck is going on, boy? Shout out 2K. Listen, just a little peeper. IQ, IQ, IQ on a thousand. Offensive and defensive rebound for some reason is his own category this year. Little peep, little IQ peep, IQ. They got red badges now. Oh yeah. So you probably gotta go 98 to get the red, cause he got 98 ball handle and he got tier four badges or whatever the, the, the red badge. So they got new badges, sir. The NBA 2K25 My Player Builder is officially here. It's here. A brand new Let's attribute go. system. A brand new badge system, badge including a new tier of badges called Legend Badges. Legend badges we have all same, 40 chat. badges available in NBA 2K25. 40 badges. Now, I'm sure, we, I'm sure we're going to go over the badges a little later. You know what I'm saying? But let me scan the scene. You know what I'm saying? See what's going on. I see some, I see some little new little joints in there. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to inspect the badges in a little minute, Jack. And we have the brand new takeover system with 72 takeovers and 14 takeover abilities. This is the video you've been waiting for. Yeah, it's that Let's video, chat. No cap. Hey, listen, y'all. Listen, right. listen, listen, Knock listen, away. listen, listen, listen. Make sure I go shout out Joe Knows, bro. We reacting to this video because he had everything broken down. Why not have the information? Work smarter, not hard, ladies and gentlemen. Work smarter, not hard. Any time, drop a like on the video. This is the first screenshot. Hey, Joe, I got you, bro. Shout out Joe Nose, man. I already like the vid, dog. It's my dog, but shout out uh, Joe. We have I don't even know Joe, but Joe be plugging in with reliable information, though. You know theme of the NBA 2K25 the My part, Player man, Builder looks very similar to last year. First things that stand out to me, as you can see, rebounding is in its own category. That's yeah, purple. It's separated from the red great. from the defensive category. It looks like all the attribute categories are the same, except stamina has been removed. And agility has replaced acceleration. Will that be any different? Wait, 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 y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Do that mean that stamina doesn't matter this year, bro? Agility. Bro, it's basically the same thing, bro. Chat, chat, if you think about it, dog, no cap. This dude made a 6-2 playmaker. Yeah, this build is horrible. Who made this build, dog? You, you could have did better work than this. I guess they were just trying to show off the red badges. 6-2 guard with a 6-9 wingspan? Golly. <laughs> hey, nah, chat. What's going on? Different, we'll have to see. The next thing that stands out is over here on the right side. There are red badges. As red you can badges see, is there crazy, are dog. bronze, silver, gold, half, and now red badges. And in the report, as you as we're gonna read through, we're gonna dive into the information. From what I'm seeing, those red badges are called legend badges. Legend badges, chat. This legend is very badges. interesting. A lot of things to, to look at, a lot of things to decipher from this picture. I'm gonna start to get into some text that we see in the courtside report that gives us a little bit more information. So in the courtside report, the first thing that I see that is very interesting is that. Ah! Not an option. Come on, chat. Sound sensor out. That light button, man. Let's get to attribute it. refresh. All right, they refreshed attributes according to this. They say in NBA 2K25, we refreshed a handful of physical attributes as well as how you earn stamina. Bro. There are now five physical attributes bro. in the My Player Builder: speed with ball, which is Thank in the playmaking you, category; speed, agility, strength, and vertical. Now they're going to talk about stamina. Stamina is now earned through Gatorade gym workouts. So if you think about it, bro, everybody has stamina, bro, in real life, bro. Stamina is just a matter of how much you really work on it in real life, anyway. So I ain't gonna lie, bro, 2K, I see that, bro. Everybody has stamina, just a matter of who has more or not. But I don't think that should be something that's, that's your skill. You know what I'm saying? 
So like I, I it makes sense that they smart, like that's logical. W two K for making it taking that out to the point where you gotta upgrade costing you points to have stamina. And every human has stamina. Out out the womb we got stamina, bro. As a kid we got stamina, but it's just about how you gonna build that stamina up. That's a tough that's a tough little move, okay. That's move, that's move. Once you hit 99, you good, right? You don't got to go back to the hidden gym. I hope not, because I'm not trying to go keep going Each back. Each my bro. player starts off with an 85 stamina, so you don't need to put up the stamina attribute anymore. Emma says, doing a workout adds two stamina attribute points regardless of your workout result, and you can do four workouts each week. So that's going to be eight stamina, so you start 85 plus eight, you're up to a 93. So within two weeks, you'll have 99 stamina according to this. Then they go on to say, once any of your my players reaches 99 stamina attribute rating, it is permanent. Bet, As an added bonus of hitting the gym, you get at least three stars on all four weekly workouts. You'll three receive stars. a temporary turbo meter boost and unlock a body type for your my player. One Wait, as an added bonus for hitting the gym. What? Each my player starts off with an 85 stamina attribute rating. So we start off at 85, doing a workout adds two. So, okay, so if I go to the gym the night 2K drop and I do workouts, they'll bump me to 87 stamina. You can do four workouts each week. So can I do them back to back or I got to do them one each day, bro? Hey, Chad, I bet y'all it's going to be a workout glitch, bro. But chat, chat, you know when 2K drop chat, it's always either one of the three glitches. A VC glitch, a badge glitch, a shoe glitch, or a my career glitch, bro. Or XP, like my career glitch and stuff, bro. It's always that one of the first weeks of the game, dog. So you gotta be you gotta be on alert. Now listen, I'm at the point now, chat, I ain't gonna lie. Well I post if I post a glitch, you you gonna have to catch that on my second channel, bro. Cause I ain't too nah 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 I I I nah you ain't uh we gonna have to see. So look, I'm not I'm not, I might not be the glitch guy, but make sure you check my ad me on my socials. You know what I'm saying? When we get you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> so we can talk about those glitches and maybe see what's going on with those, bro. Once you have done all 12 unique workouts in the Gatorade Gym, you will unlock Workout Warrior, which gives you 99 stamina, a permanent turbo boost, and you unlock all body types or new and existing oh, saves. Tough, Meaning all your builds that, for the rest of the year, you will have- Hey, Chad, I tell you something, bro? Bro, I was going back to the gym day after day after day after day, bro, just trying to unlock a, um, a certain build, bro, just for a video, dog. That's dead, dude. All your body types available, which is a small thing, but for someone like me, thank God. Because, man, the amount of time I spent doing drills to try to Facts. unlock body Facts. types to represent NBA players on all different builds and I'm stuff, it's a beautiful thing. I don't know if y'all care about that, but let's move on. In NBA 2K24, the acceleration attribute determined your dribble, launching, and off-ball movement. Okay, debatable, but we'll go with it. Yeah, In that, that's, that, that's cap, considering that on 2K right now, my 6'9 Demi guy chat. Go watch a video right now. If you have never seen me hoop on 2K24, man, you you you've been missing out for a long time. And 2K25 is gonna be an awakening for you. You know what I'm saying? When you see me, you know what I'm saying for work. You know what I'm saying? Listen though, <clears throat> my 6'9, bro, point four, bro got like a bro 50 50 acceleration, dog. Bro, that bro, and I be cooking people, bro, off the dribble and everything like that. So, the acceleration actually determine the dribble launching off ball movement. Mm, it was some holes to that, bro. Trust. Joe knows. Look, Joe knows. Ah, 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 ah. Joe knows. The 2K25 dribble launching is now determined Joe solely by the speed with ball attribute, really while know. defensive lateral movement, off ball launches, and off ball cuts are determined by a new attribute called agility. Interesting. So in 25, according to this, we will have to see how Agility, fast bro. your first step is with the ball is solely off your speed with ball attribute. Your defensive lateral movement, off ball launches and off ball cuts is determined by agility. If we come back to this builder screen, something that we see over here, lightning launch badge. That's what this red badge is here. Speed Quick first step, chat. Hey, chat, if I'm being honest with y'all, bro, I already know what type of build I want to make, bro. But it's like, chat, like, do I give y'all the sauce early on? 
Or should I use the build, tweak it out, find the faults and difficulties, and then come at y'all with the more perfected build so y'all not wasting y'all money? What, what y'all think about that, chat? So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to be in a live for a minute on my build videos, but I'm going to definitely be dropping some day one, day two videos or something like that. Or I might drop some 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 bills that I might find, and um, know it might be good for y'all too. So, comment down below what y'all want for me with that, bro. This dude's a 6'2", 98 ball handle playmaker with an 82 three ball. So he like a Trey Young with a broke, with a broke J and no defense. Pretty much. It's like Trey Young, bro, ain't it? Trey Young build, bro. This is nah, but he ain't got 87 driving dunk. Trey Young can't dunk, so this build kind of weak, bro. This build trash. I think they did that on purpose, Chad. They put these weak builds in here, bro, so you, we, we can't see what, what you could really work with in the builder, bro. Cause ain't nobody making this. Speeds up launches when attacking from the perimeter. So speed with ball is going to determine your first step with the ball. And I'm assuming, obviously, lightning launch, it sounds like, is also going to be a factor into that as well. Now, we do have more on badges. Let's jump into that. And I also have all 40 badges that I'm going to show you, and we'll go through every single badge in the game. There are 40 skill badges in NBA 2K25, similar to takeovers. We'll get into takeovers in just a second, but I wanted to touch on badges first. Each badge has unique attribute requirements. When you're building your my player, you'll be able to see which badges you have the potential to unlock. These 40 badges are split across two tiers determined by your my player's height. My player badges are progressed by activating each badge in games. This means badges that you use Hey, chat, man. Make sure y'all like the video, man. Make sure y'all comment down below. Three. Are you excited for the most? Will be earned more quickly, man. matching your play style I'll on the court. In the this progression right can first only one to comment. increase. The first person on comment to each video, bro, will be shouted out in the next video. But y'all gotta comment the night I drop. I post every day. So if y'all not there by that 23 hour mark, you missing it for the next day. Let's see who locked in. Let's get to it, bro. No more badge regression. That's good. That's W2K. Right this there. progression can only increase and does not drop even if you... Thank you, dog, bro. Like, bro, like, you could go on vacation, bro. Bro, chat. Bro, I went on vacation, dog. I came back, bro. My badges was gone. Like, come on, dog. Like, it's the off season, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dude. You don't fire a badge off. Beautiful. I love hearing that. I don't know how y'all feel, but I did not like the badge regression. Forget that. You get your badges, badges, you get your badges. Type. You got them. Yeah, tier 1 badges are the most powerful badges, badges available to you, but are more difficult to progress compared to Tier 2 badges. You can also work on your badges in the team practice facility. Here is a full list of new and changed badges in NBA 2K25. All 40 badges available on NBA 2K25. 40 badges, chat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, hey, hey. 40 badges. Hey. Area Wizard Float Game Hook Specialist. Layup Mix Master. Chat, I'm going to read the new ones. But everything else we know, I'm not reading it, bro. Layup Mix Master. Improves a player's ability to finish fancy or acrobatic layups. Okay. Like acrobat. Paint Prodigy improves a player's ability to quickly and efficiently score while going to work in the paint. It's like that Zion, that paint master stuff, bro. That's like that post scoring cheese. They just going to be down there holding square, dog. That's going to be trash, bro. Physical finisher improves a player's ability to battle through contact and convert contact layups. What's it? What's this flasher promotion year? What's going on, bro? Post fade phenom. Oh, that's old. Post powerhouse, bro. What the heck is going on with y'all post players, dog? Somebody, hey, you like y'all post players probably didn't pay the devs or something, bro. They give y'all six new badges. Strength is a player's ability to have backing down defenders and moving them. Bro, move out the way, dog. Chat, look at this, bro. My own thing in the way, bro. Whatever that's a chat. 
Post up poet, another post badge. Dead eye. Is there any shooting badges? Golly. Chad, there's only four shooting badges in the whole game. Nah, bro, for real? Shifty sh I mean it makes I mean bro, do we hold on hold on hold on hold on? Dead eye, limitless, mini marksman, set shot. Shifty shooter, pulls the player's ability to set you off the dribble, high difficulty. I mean, how many shots can you really realistically take? On, I mean, only five type of shots. Then you already got post scoring. But dang, it's really only like five shooting badges in the whole game, bro. But it's way more defensive badges in the game, bro. It's a lot more slashing badges than, than, than um... But still, shooting going to win still, though, Chad. But it's, it's just interesting, though. I'm going to be honest with y'all, though. Offense still going to win. But it's really only five shooting badges in the whole game, bro. Am I tripping? It was five shooting badges in 2K24, bro? Or, or I'm just... I'm, I can't believe that. That's, that's just not right, bro. Dead Eye Limitless, Mini Marksman, Set Shot, Shifty. Jump shots taken with the defender closing out. Extends the range from which a player can shoot. Elevates the likelihood of making shots over taller defenders. Boosts the chance of knocking down standstill. So set shot is kind of like catch and shoot and corner specialist, like combined basically. So they, they basically just said, we not going to, any, any type of spot you shoot it from, bro. Nah, corner specialist really out the game, bro. These is all the badges, chat. These can't be all the badges, bro. Nah, bro. I've been talking about this like five minutes, but I'm 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 bamboozled, bro. And we still got half the list. Five shooter badges. Is that crazy, chat? Or I'm not, I'm like, or we all like okay with that? I don't know, shit. I'm gonna be out there shooting. I'm be yeah, I'm gonna be out there get my buckets regardless. Rebounding, box out beast, rebound chaser, you know what those ankle assassin increases the ability to break down the defender and cross them up. Kinda like ankle breaker basically. Bail out break starter dimer handles, lightning launch. That's like that um quick first step kinda. Something like that. Something like that. Speeds up launches when attacking from the perimeter. I wonder how much handle you need to unlock that. I wonder what's the height cutoff to get lightning launch and um ankle assassin, because I'm trying to get some ankles. Strong handle reduces the likelihood of being bothered by defenders while dribbling. Yeah, you're going to need some strength for that. Unpluckable, versatile. We know what unpluckable is. Versatile, visionary. Bro, who hitting my phone, G? Gosh. Bro, they playing on me, bro. Hey, challenger. We know challenger. We know glove. Versatile, visionary. Improves the player's ability to thread and fight tight passes. Alley oop. So, kind of like a um, needle threader. Kind of like a real passing, playmaking. Like, you're going you, you, you gonna to get them passes off. I think they mix Needle Threader and um, Flashy or um, Lob City or something like that. Y'all know what I'm saying. Challenger Glove, High Flying Defender, boosts the speed and leaping ability of a defender's player in anticipation of a block attempt. So now, if you got this badge, now you probably going to get Chase Down Blocks. Chase Down Blocks is tough. I'm not going to cap. Chase Down Blocks is really fun, bro. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get that, bro. Because I'm going be, I'm, I'm to have to get buckets, bro. Immovable Enforcer, we know what that is. Interceptor, we get in those. Off-ball pass, we get in those. On-ball, what's it say? Menace. Hounds and bodies up defending while on the perimeter. Boy, boy, if you if you try to play up on me, I'm, huh, step back, rocking your, man, yeah, stop playing on me, boy. Hey, I'm going to step back on you and give you that AI cross that he gave uh, MJ. And I'm going to hit you with a pull-up. I'm just trying to tell y'all, bro. Paint Patroller, player ability to block shots. What's that? It's kind of like Rim Protector, bro. Yeah, but then it's the same shit for defense, bro. Inside scoring. Same ones from last year. Aerial Wizard, Float Game, Hook Specialist, and then now they have a Layup Mix Master. Improves a player's ability to finish fancy or acrobatic layups successfully. So it looks like a combination of a couple layup badges. They got Paint Prodigy. Improves a player's ability to quickly and efficiently score while going to work in the paint. Physical Finisher. Improves a player's ability to battle through contact and convert contact layups. Post Fade Phenom from last year. Post powerhouse strengthens a player's ability at backing down defenders and moving them with drop steps so it's a combination of back down punisher and drop stepper 
Post Up Poet raises the chances of faking or getting by a defender as well as scoring when performing post moves. Another combination of post badges it sounds like. Posterizer and Rise Up. Outside scoring. Ones from last year, Deadeye, Limitless Range, a new one, Mini Marksman, elevates the likelihood of making shots over taller defenders. Set Shot Specialist boosts chances of knocking down standstill jump shots. Shifty Shooter improves a player's ability to successfully make off the dribble high difficulty jump shots. Moving on to rebounding, Box Out Beast, Rebound Chaser, we know about those. Playmate. You did it. Come on, Jack. You took an idea on a napkin, Come on, Joe. built a successful business, and Joe made it look said. easy. But at US paid. Bank, we remember. Making a new one, Ankle Assassin, increases the ability to break down the defender or cross them up. Sounds like a combination of like a tight handles and ankle breaker badge all into one. You got Bailout, Break Starter, Dimer, Handles for Days, we know about those. Lightning Launch, speeds up launches when attacking from the perimeter. Sounds like kind of like a quick first step. Strong Handle, reduces the likelihood of being bothered by defenders when dribbling. Unpluckable, versatile visionary, improves a player's ability to thread and fit tight passes, including alley-oops, quickly and on time. Combination of a couple passing badges from last year. Defense, challenger, glove, a new one. High-flying denier, boosts the speed and leaping ability of a defensive player in anticipation of a block attempt. Sounds like a bit of a chase down artist type of badge. Immovable enforcer, interceptor, off-ball pest, on ball menace hounds and bodies up while defending on the perimeter paint patroller increases a player's ability to block or contest shots at the rim pick dodger post lockdown general offense we got brick wall and slippery off ball and last but not least all around you got pogo stick pogo stick this year allows players to quickly recover and go back up for another jump upon landing this could be after a rebound block attempt or even a jump shot interesting these are all 40 badges on NBA 2K25. You can go and look at the screen more in depth. You can pause the video. Otherwise, we're going to get back to some more info. To all my builder heads, this might be the most important thing we've seen in this video so far. Cat breakers. Good Last but not that. least, we'll go back to a couple of the other things. I think this is more important, Let's though. Go. Last but not least, we are excited to introduce cat breakers to 2K25. We saw community... This is where it really gets interesting, y'all. And, um... Yeah, so if you haven't been paying attention, bro, this the y'all know what teachers say. You need to write this down. This, bro, what I'm about to say right here. Looking at community feedback that players wanted a way to not only increase attribute ratings above their max potential cap set at build creation, but also have those ratings contribute towards animation, badge, That's and crazy, takeover bro. attribute requirement. My question is, bro, like. You do, do you already have a cat breaker like while you're making the build or you got to earn it, bro? So essentially what I'm saying is, it's like, do I got to make my player leave him at 85 out of 90 for my drive and dunk until I get to level 40 or until I hit rep number 68, rep superstar one, for example, and then I get the cap breaker. Then I put up a plus five. Or when I already make my player, I get one. I don't know, Chad. That's, that's my question, bro. That's exactly what cap breakers do. For example, let's say your ball handler is maxed at 85. You can apply two cap breakers to play with an 87 ball handle rate. Rating and also unlock access to any animations, badges, and takeovers that require an 87 ball handle. There are a few. Hey, bro. Stop. 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 Restrictions to ensure a balanced gameplay experience. Each attribute can be increased at a maximum of plus five above its cap. You can use a cap breaker on an attribute up to its max potential rating allowed by your build's height, weight, and wingspan, which, no cap, which is bro. shown in the My Player Builder while allocating your attribute potential. You must progress an attribute to its max potential rating before applying the cap breaker. Be there are a total to of 15 cap breakers available to earn through rep rewards. More on rep. 
So fifteen total throughout the whole throughout the whole game. Like, bro, be be specific, bro. Don't say fifteen. Okay, total. Total in what, bro? Each season. Throughout the whole game, the whole season, the whole you only get fifty. Bro, they playing, bro. Rep reward, rep rewards, bro. I can't talk, chat. Damn. Rep rewards, bro. So, if y'all think there's a longer rep grind, or not, nah, I'm just talking to affiliations and the city in a few weeks. This is very important to everyone that is deep in that builder like me. So, you can go plus five above plus the five cap tough, bro. of an attribute. Plus five is nice. But, you can. Need prescription eyewear fast? I buy direct ships. So if I get plus five, with two am I going to be on hand overall? Day delivery. I buy direct.com. If I'm hit RD99. You can use a cap breaker on an attribute up to its max potential rating allowed by your build's height, weight, and wingspan. So if the max three-pointer mm. available, let's say at your 6'8 build, is a 90, so let's just say, I have no idea. Let's just say it's a 90. You cannot max that out in your build in so the builder, the builder and then bro. add the cap breakers to get a 95-3. Uh-uh. If you max it at 85. Five, you can then use your cap breakers to push it to that 90 that you could have put when you were creating your build. If I know it sounds a little confusing, but if you followed me, that's going to be really important in terms of making the absolute best build possible at that height. That's going to be really, really important in terms of creating some of the that's going to be some tough of the chat. glitchiest, best, most effective builds at every each year, height. It's, it's that's going to be really, stuff, really fun. I, that, this might be the most important thing that we've read so far on this court side cap before. Breaker, okay, to go crazy. along with the cap breakers, we also have badge elevators. So you think, okay, okay, okay. Okay, y'all think this. So they say you might get a total of 15 through rep, um, rep rewards. So if that mean that, then... I'm going off 2K17 theory rep guy, which is not going to be the same. Or even on um, 24, though. But I don't, I don't know all the levels and shit in 24. It was like rookie, pro, superstar, something like that. Veteran. They probably got it, so it's like once you hit the second level, you probably get what? One cap breaker? And then once you hit rookie two, you get another cap breaker? And once he hits superstar three, you get I mean rookie three, you get another cap breaker. I don't know, chat. New in NBA 2K25, badge elevators can permanently boost an individual badge of your choice up to three levels within its max potential. For example, chat. they got too many boosts, bro. Like, bro, I'm, I'm gonna make some OP. Like, bro, like, bro, all these boosts, bro. Y'all giving out free boosts. You get boost. You get you get boost to the play. You get plus five boost on the attributes up to fifteen. So you telling me I can get fifteen plus five boost on my one of my builds? That don't sound right, bro. I, I gotta be reading this wrong, bro. Well, at some point that build will be maxed out. I'm talking about fifteen, but or they talking about? You need to talk about badge elevators, chat. So I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have a red badge, bro. If my badge is on silver, I can boost it up three levels. Boom. That's OP, bro. If your badge is currently at bronze, but has a max potential of legend, that's why I was saying in the intro, remember, I was talking about how that red tier badge is called legend. This is why, because I was reading this. Has a max potential of legend, it can immediately be boosted up to three levels from bronze to silver to gold to hall of fame. These will be available to unlock throughout the year from season level rewards. So seasons are back, obviously confirmed just by that. Badge elevators earned in seasons one to four can boost your badges up to two levels, and those earned in seasons five through eight can boost your badges up to three levels. So this is the first look at the takeover screen. As you can see, there's a ton of takeovers here on the left. Above the rim, ankle taker, attacking, barbecue chicken, block party, board beast, break igniter, brute, bucket. You see there's levels to the takeover that we're about to talk about in just a second in the courtside report. But this is also something I really like down here. Temporary attribute boost. So it shows how much each attribute will be boosted at each. Chat. 
chat. You can get the plus five boost, cap breaker boost, plus five one of the attributes. You get in plus two, plus three badge boosts. Your badges get in boosted. You get in, well, takeover normal. You always get boost when you got takeover, but that's just a normal boost right there. And then, you know, people still going to be buying Gatorade boost, um, jump shot boost, playmaking boost at this facility, bro. Nah, niggas going to be juiced up. Now, this game going to be crazy, bro. It's, it's gonna get level of takeover. So if you're level one, you're getting a plus two to your close shot and your post control. And as you can see, as you get up to level five, level five being the highest level of takeover you can achieve on NBA 2K25, you're getting plus seven to three different categories. And then it shows what the boosted rating would be. It also talks about what takeover ability you're going to get. And with barbecue chicken takeover, you're going to get the takeover ability of deep post bag, which makes it easier to beat defenders with post back downs, moves, fakes, and shots. And then also over here on the left, it talks about what is a takeover. And it says your on-court performance increases your takeover meter. Attribute boosts are applied at each level of the meter. At level five. This is what we've trained for, people. Omega incursion. Where? Five, the takeover ability will turn on, which makes me think you don't get to pop your takeover whenever you want. It sounds like once your takeover gets filled, like it said, it will turn on it doesn't say automatically, but I feel like the wording right there kind of tells us it will turn on automatically. We'll have to wait and see. But I think that kind of makes more sense in terms of realism, right? It's like if you're watching Kobe Bryant play and he's going crazy in the third quarter, he doesn't tell his teammates, hey, guys, don't worry. I'm going to wait till the fourth quarter to pop my takeover and then I'm going to win us the game. Like mm -hmm. it's like if he's going crazy in the third, it's like he's in takeover right then and there. It's going to, you know what I mean? It's going to pop automatically if that kind of makes sense. I know so it's, no it's video game versus. Ain't no lie, bro. 70 takeovers is crazy, bro. We going to be in a builder. Bro, we going to be in a builder day one like these. We going to fall asleep. We going to wake back up, boy, and we still going to be looking through the right takeover, bro. 70, bro. Man, bro. That's a hey, shout out to K, man. Cause they all got their own, they own like, you know, stuff they boost. So shout out 2K, bro. 2K locked in, they had some little, little new joint. We're going to see how it is though. But 70s, 70s is crazy, dog. This is real life, but y'all get what I'm saying. Let's get into the course side report to break down a little bit of info about the new takeover system. Takeovers, let's get into it. NBA 2K25 takeover. introduces a brand new takeover system with 72, 72? takeovers. And I said 70, bro, they got 72. That'll probably add some some uniqueness to the game. You know what I'm saying? Will it show? Is there is there a different icon for each different takeover? Like all 72? Or it would just pop up as, you know, they ain't takeover. We're well, we gonna see eventually. 14 takeover abilities. So obviously, depending on which takeover you choose, that's gonna determine what takeover ability you get, judging by the last screenshot that we saw. And obviously, multiple takeovers will have the same. Ah, so different attributes. So so I gotta have, so let's say for instance, I got, um. let's say for instance, I want this shot creating takeover that gives me plus five mid range and plus four three and plus one free throw. But to get that, to get that takeover, you probably need at least an 85-3 or 85 mid-range. Get what I'm saying? So that's what they mean by that. Five different attributes is five. You got them. Don't you have me through? Takeover ability. Each takeover targets different attributes and has five levels, ranging from level one, when you're just getting heating up, to level five, when you're red hot. As you excel on the court, your takeover meter fills up, gradually boosting the targeted attributes as you rise up the five levels. This happens automatically, so you don't need to manually activate takeover. Okay, exactly what I was just saying. Mm. But if you make mistakes and produce bad plays on the court, your takeover meter will drop. At level five, you'll trigger a takeover ability that when used effectively can make you the most dominant player on the court for a short period of time. Initially, you will have access to levels one through three. You will unlock levels four and five each by activating its previous level in 30 different games. Takeover level unlocks do carry over between saves. Each takeover has attribute requirements and you'll be able to see which takeovers you have the potential to unlock within the My Player Builder, as well as how each one's associated boost will impact your attributes. You can change your takeover at any time between games, selecting from any that you meet the attribute requirements for. So you can change your takeover, obviously not mid-game, in between games. 
And so also, Chad, basically what he's saying is too, so let's say the shot creating takeover I choose. Every time I activate it, I level it up. So let's say I, you got activated 10 times on level one, and then you get level two uh, of that takeover. So basically what he's saying is, bro, once you get to level five and you'll take over, you're going to get more bo boosts. So. But, but if you switch to something else, you're going you're gonna to be level one. So you're going to have to build that up. Oh, what, does it say if it transfer the bills? I don't know, Chad. It's in here somewhere, though. A personal favorite of Visual Concepts is the below. barbecue chicken takeover. Hoop heads know that barbecue chicken means you're about to cook your defender and serve up a highlight. As your takeover meter rises, your post game becomes stronger. The takeover ability it comes with is deep post bag, which temporarily and greatly enhances all things post, from back downs to post moves and post shots. They just love post scores, don't they? Every year, every year, every year post scores go crazy, man. Oh. Badge perks. There are three new badge perks that can modify progression of individual badges. Post Each perk has be, two exactly, slots available. Exactly. I make a post score too. I'm a, bro, I'm gonna make a lot of bills this year. If this game is fun, let's get to it. Able to unlock one for tier one badges and another for tier two badges. Max plus one. Boost a badge one level above its max potential. You must progress a badge to its max potential before equipping this perk. Mm. These are unlocked at level 15 tier two badge and level 30 tier one badge in each season. At the end of the season, your badges equipped with max plus one will- no cap, Beyond bro. Pet Food helps me- 2K that added a whole bunch of stuff, but- Care for no what cap. matters with high quality- Will revert to their original yeah, level. Of Participation. Year, badges equipped with this perk will earn a flat base amount in? of progression each game, regardless in. of how Everybody many times they're they activated. So you can progress a badge. So the game you can upgrade a badge and, and boost that progression. Chad, okay, y'all ready though? I'm ready. Chad, okay, everybody say they're ready for 2K to drop till day one. Day, day 0 and 15. 0 and 10. Chad, I need bro. No cap, chat. We still got some time, bro. Without even having to pop it. Like three weeks. Bro. Synergy. Badges equipped with this perk will receive progression when your teammates earn progression using the same badge. Oh, so you can help them boost the badge. That's so tough. Your teammates can help you out with a little badge right there. Like wreck, bro. Participation, wreck, synergy, and overdrive nice. returning from 2K24 are earned through rotating season you rewards. Performance multipliers. Wreck. Maximize your badges in NBA 2K25 by taking advantage of performance multipliers. These in-game boosts can take your game to another level, but you'll need to earn them separately via quests. Mm. There are three it's performance multipliers quest, in total up for the challenge, grade A student, winner's circle. Thank As you me. compete in different game modes, you'll experience different versions of a performance multiplier based on the format. You know, we have these in 2K24. They help you get your badges faster. They're going to be back. So all things considered, I think that's good. We don't want the badge grind to be super duper tedious. Like that's not why any of us play 2K. Okay, so that is all the info we got on the builder. Now we've got some info on the my career side of it, which does tie into the builder and into your my player and all that. So let's start to get into some my career. Once you've built your MP, it's time to start your my career. And NBA 2K25's my career centers around constructing the greatest dynasty in NBA history, challenging you to surpass Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls, the 80 Showtime Lakers, the big three Celtics starring Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish, and the dynamic duo of Kobe and Shaq, the high-powered Golden State Warriors featuring Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, and so on. Part of a dynasty. At the start of your my career, you can experience MP's backstory by playing through flashback story called Heart of a Dynasty where you'll relive the four most pivotal games from your path to the NBA. These include a club league showcase game, your high school championship game, the FIBA U19 World Cup, and an FIBA. open run with NBA players. Where one of the They said FIBA? FIBA Cup? FIBA Cup? From your path to the NBA. These include a club league showcase game, your high school championship game, the FIBA U19 World Cup, and an open run with NBA players, where one of those players... Okay. Okay. Chad, why don't you, I mean, hey, 2K, why don't y'all put the Olympics in there, man? You know what I'm saying? Put us in the Olympics, bro. Was it copyright or something that you can't put the Olympics in there, bro? I'm trying to go get gold with KD and Brian. Let's go! You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate the FIBA. That's a, that's a step in that direction. But I want, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to go to the Olympics, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to run out for the one time. Okay. 
The feeble action. That's tough. Okay. Players okay. isn't too happy. MP got an invite. Yeah, I wonder if it's gonna be feeble rules, bro. I'm, or not. They ain't doing. They going. That, that's crazy. That, that'd be Completing crazy. these games unlocks the my points accelerator, which increases your my points progression by five percent to help you unlock new attribute upgrades more quickly. You can also choose to skip the backstory and complete it later Thank while progressing you. through your NBA Thank career. You. You the gold ranking system returns to, to track your ascent through the ranks of NBA legends, but we've added a dynasty component on top of that where the focus is less on your individual accomplishments and more on how far you can take your team. We've ranked the nine greatest dynasties in NBA history, and as you make, and as you make deep playoff runs and win championships, you'll see your team climb the dynasty rankings until you reach the number one spot, dethroning Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls. And we also got this image of personal goals in my career, so you see NBA Cup champion. So this is my career stuff chat. Uh, we got a couple more minutes on this video. So you don't want to miss none of this information because he might say something crazy at the end. And rookie riser, ultimate rival, road warrior. Then you see for some rewards, some upcoming stuff, your key game. So pretty similar layout, I guess, you know, slightly different, but this is what you're going to be looking at in your my career personal goals. And the last thing in this course side report, they talked about improved key games. Key games are back and we're really excited about the improvements we've made to this feature. And at the end of this paragraph, they start to talk about dynasty badges. And for those of you interested in the dynasty badges, this is going to be the screen right here. Now, this isn't really my cup of tea. I'm not really a big my career player. I'm more of the my player builder and taking the players to the park and the pro-am and all that. Hey, bro, y'all know what I'm saying, bro? Bro, my career too easy, bro. You don't even need all these dynasty badges. They they giving you all these badges like this just the hardest stuff you finna play. Boy, man, bro, forget these badges. I'm gonna get an ISO top of the key. He me he. We blowing them out by 50. And I put up 100 points. Y'all need to make that stuff harder, bro. If you want somebody to play, bro. But you gave me plus five shooting boosts, plus five badge boosts, plus five cat breaker boosts, and you expect us with some dynasty badges not be able to beat the computer, bro, on Hall of Fame? Bro, nobody want to play my career, bro. It's too easy, bro. Y'all adding all these badges in here like this going to be enticing for us to play my career, bro. Who wants a my career dynasty badge when you don't need it? You're going to beat the computer anyway, and most of us in there these days just to get the badges and head to the park, bro. 2K, 2K could have did better with this micro stuff. I ain't gonna lie, chat. I ain't gonna lie. But the FIBA, the 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 FIBA um and the off season stuff, I mess with it. That's a W. But I feel like everything else is kind of lazy, like dynasties. Bro, nobody played my career long enough to win six championships. The average dude does not do that, bro. And even if we do, bro, we simming through all them games, bro. And most of the time, when we play all them seasons in my career, we changing teams, bro. I don't know. I, I just don't think of being a dynasty really a main focus for us. Who, bro? Like we gon' we gon' win the championship regardless, bro. Two K need a two K need a difficulty above Hall of Fame, bro. Cause it, it's not hard enough, bro. It's no challenge, bro. Once you once you figure out two K, bro, and how to play it, dog, probably like. Four months in, bro. Like a few months in. I mean, you shouldn't be playing micro that long in, bro. For me, it might take me like a few weeks, but for the average person, bro, you should, bro, micro, you know, that ain't it, bro. That. But for those of you interested in the micro, this is what the Dynasty Badges screen is. But if you play micro, though, that ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm just talking about me personally. Like, why I don't play it? It just for me, it's like it's it's. Unless I'm bash grinding. Now, don't get me wrong. I always play my career every year when the game drop. But I'm saying as far as me, like, being a mode I enjoy offline, eventually, once I max out my player, I can't really play them. I mean, to get you just blow out every, every team, bro. You're going to win, so you don't really point. It's going to look like. Last but not least, we got our closing remarks. NBA 2K25 is filled with surprises. We don't want to spoil them all, but we do want to share a few of our favorites before FIBA we let you go. First one, FIBA games are available via Heart of That's Dynasty. Fire, bro. And they've also been oh, added yeah. as a part of the revamped Let's off-season flow where you can play friendlies. Follow Cause it either can be like a stiff FIBA game or it can be like a real FIBA turn. Like I wanna play a little tournament, you know what I'm saying? We up in Spain in that joint, I'm heat. He you know what I'm saying? Rock fires and a full FIBA tournament that you can recruit other NBA stars for. Swap jerk. I want me. Brian, KD, hey, listen, hey, hey, listen, I ain't gonna lie, 2K, bro, I'm, I'm playing that FIBA, bro, look, y'all not gonna, 
And I'm going to put Jalen Brown on the team, on my FIBA team, too. Y'all ain't going to kick him off my squad, bro, because I'm going to be the face of the league. Y'all going to have to respect me. Y'all going to have to respect me. Respect me. Listen up. We definitely going to play those FIBA games, chat. Y'all lock in for those. Jerseys for with show. some of your favorite NBA superstars. That's a W, bro. That's a W. Through optional lie. highlight games, funny, you can though. earn a jersey swap with players like Jalen Brunson and Victor Wembanyama if you complete in-game challenges against their teams. You're going to want to earn these jerseys. Man, listen. Like I said, I don't play my career, but y'all know when I'm on a badge grind. When I'm on that first initial badge grind, and I play my career. I'm trying to beat everybody. I want my, I want, you know what I'm saying? I want all the jerseys. I want all the jerseys. I want Brian K. I, I got to beat Brian before he retired. I need everybody jersey on my on the wall, bro. Not That's only simple. will you be able to wear them around the city, but you can also display them in your my court. More on that in a few weeks. Now, that's kind of a W because some of the NBA player jerseys, they're expensive in that store, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So, hey, you get like 40K for a bronze jersey from, bro, from All-Star Weekend. Like, come on, G. 40,000? A quick that one for it, free bro. while you're grinding your badges in my career, son. You know, save you a little VC, I guess. After a long and storied Hall of Fame career, you'll receive the coveted Naismith Hall of Fame orange jacket for your my player, which you can take to the city to flex your legendary career. Kind of like the goat mask they had in 2K24. Jacket, Sounds like maybe they're replacing that with the Hall of Fame jacket. Finally, we are excited to announce that season XP can now be earned from NBA career games. Bro, why I feel like it's gonna be a C bro, I tell y'all, bro, when 2K drop, it's either gonna be a VC glitch, a shoe glitch, a badge glitch. Or a season XP glitch. They talking about my career. I think 2K messed up right there, Chad. I ain't gonna cap. But maybe I'm just talking John though. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how I go. Season XP can now be earned from NBA career games, bro. It can't be a lot. It gotta be it, bro, it, it gotta be like two percent, bro. Cause there's no way they're offering wreck. So let's say I play my career Hall of Fame, 12 minute quarters, and I put up a 100 point triple double. Ain't no way they're giving me XP like I just did it online. We're going to see though, bro. What y'all think, chat? So you can level up and earn rewards in the city and my team. Stay tuned for more information on NBA 2K25 seasons and season pass. If you guys are looking for more 2K25 news and reactions, Hey, chat, man, shout out your nose. Listen, BZ in the BZ in the, BZ in the, BZ in the building, man. I know what's going on. Listen, we here. 2K. Hey, man, it's about that time of year, man. Stay focused, stay locked in. See y'all on the next one. Peace. Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2 0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Still to be happy about. You're up 2 0. Job's not finished. Job finished. I don't think so. Don't follow rules, it's so renegade. I can't follow rules, I'm so renegade, I'm so uncared. Oh, don't follow rules, I'm so renegade. Okay. I can't hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. Not hustling for myself, trying to see my brother pay. I'm DTF for like man that would primitive. I'm DTF for like man that would